<laughs> oh, this is really dizzy. Welcome back to another rug with you. So, we are back again. I'm paying to get out of this hole as we speak. Get in, yes. Good, let's go. Oh. So yeah, recently I saw a film called, I don't know where he's going. <laughs> That's not the name of the film. <laughs> the name of the film is Vice. Vice! So yeah, recently I saw a film called Vice, uh, which is the story of Dick Cheney! And his rise to power, so to speak, as the Vice President. That's it, POTUS makes the comeback once again. Yeah, so anyway. Vice President. So, this film stars Christian Bale taking on his method acting to the max again. Big beer belly, you know, looking rather chubby. Um, yeah, so Christian Bale plays Dick Cheney. You got Amy Adams plays Lynn Cheney, his wife. Um, you have Steve Carell playing Donald Rumsfeld. And you have Sam Rockwell playing George W. Bush. Yeah, another president. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, basically it's uh, a film, uh, the guy who, it's a film by the guy who directed slash produced, I don't know whether he did both, but he basically made The Big Short, which also stars Steve Carell and um, blah, 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 blah. Christian Bale, fuck. Um, cross, come, oh, what you do? Oh my God. Yes, it's not a fucking crossing. Fuck! Fucking death wish. Anyway, um, yeah, so it is about um, Dick Cheney and his rise in um, becoming a politician um, in America. Um, yeah, he starts off as like this drunk and not knowing where his life's going. And I completely picked the wrong road. Let's go left. Yeah! Anyway, um, starts off as a drunk um, and like not his life isn't really going anywhere. He's obviously married to Amy Adams at this point. She's getting really effed off with him. Um, and telling him, you need to sort your life out. I was, I'll be gone, because there's other people I can dick. I <laughs> get it, Dick Cheney. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so choice to make. He chooses, oh, I won't let you down anymore. You know, all that sort of shiz. And anyway, fast forward, he um, becomes like a kind of assistant understudy to Donald Rumsfeld under, um, I think it was George Bush Senior. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I think Donald Trump is a Secretary of Defense at the time. Anyway, so it's about where he starts learning the ins and outs of like being like a politician and all this stuff. And you start like he gets his own office, and you kind of start like seeing. Um, I'm rambling. Fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, you kind of you start seeing the darker side of him. Like he just wants power and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, when he eventually chooses to uh, run for like a senator and stuff, um, it comes out that one of his daughters is gay. And um, you have this nice little scene where like he kind of has a decision to make: whether he runs for being a senator or something along those lines. Um, and like chooses not to run or and accept that like his daughter's gay and he can't run for and then it kind of like ends that ends it there and then it starts going on about what 
Dick Cheney then did later on in life, how he retired. His wife started write, writing books and stuff. And um, yeah, that's a what if, if he hadn't chosen to run for a senator and like kind of be okay with his daughter being a lesbian. No, no, that's a false dawn, people. False dawn, because that's not what happens. And I'm going completely the wrong fucking way. Um, that's not what happens. What actually happens is he mugs his daughter right off and runs for senator anyway. Um, yeah, and like later on in the film, obviously he becomes vice president. He only becomes vice president when George W. Bush Jr., you know, the geezer that hasn't really got much clue and needed help a lot. Um, Dick Cheney convinces him to give up a, like a lot of like certain powers for him to be vice president. That's the only way he's gonna do it. So he does that. George W. Bush Jr. or whatever, yeah, anyway, he, he does that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, George Bush gets into power. Dick Cheney then, obviously, becomes vice president with all the power, it would seem, to, like, start wars and shit. And, um, yeah, it, just an oversight. Not an oversight. It's just an overview of, like, how the fact that George Bush had really no, he was like a puppet on a string, people. Oh! It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I thought when I saw that bit in the film <laughs> as well. So, puppet on a string. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically George Bush becomes a puppet on a string to Dick Cheney. Um, where Dick Cheney is like, uh, has all these affiliates with like, um, oil companies and stuff. And kind of, it ends up running into the start of 9-11. So you see all the 9-11 stuff happen. Dick Cheney being rushed off the room. And like the backwards planning into it is they end up, if you like conspiracy theories, which I do, so believe it people. Um, starts the war on terror in Iraq to basically get hold of the oil reserves in Iraq. The story goes on and on about various bits, but yeah, it basically portrays Dick Cheney as being a mon maniacal, evil, you know, person pulling the strings of George W. Bush. That is the film in its entirety. That is it. I mean, it goes on a bit after that. Oh yeah, throughout the film, he constantly has heart attacks as well. It's like, what is this guy? Is this guy like, oh, I don't, he doesn't do any exercise. He just eats stuff. I've stopped at a green light. Oh my God. Anyway, he just has heart attacks after heart attacks. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's just an advert for bad health, this film, the way it's done. So be healthy people. And if you can't be healthy, be good. That is all I'm saying. But yeah, so um, yeah, that's basically what the film's about. Dick Cheney's rise to power as vice president and the fact that he had more power as his vice president than previous vice presidents ever before. On that note, I'm giving this film a score. I wouldn't say it's the best film in the world. Not by a long shot, but I enjoyed it. So, I am giving it a solid three out of four and a thumb, which is five, three, out of five fingers, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Go see it if you want. I'm not telling you you have to, but if you don't, you'll regret it. Mm, you won't really, but you can just watch stuff. So yeah, peace out. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Let me have it, let me have it.